All right, there's awesome live coming to you from Southern California here. It's Memorial Weekend, May 28, 2017, 3.13 in the afternoon. Hey, this is my third show day. Can you believe it? <laughs> when you're on a roll, you're on a roll. Oh, yeah. I want to do a quick video right here on uh, world leaders blame Donald Trump for failure <laughs> to reach climate agreement. The Paris Accord. <laughs> it's, a, it's a global scam warming accord, right? Yeah. Obama loved it back in 2015. You got the Pope loving it. Listen, if, if Obama and the Pope love a deal, the deal is crooked. <laughs> the deal is a scam, right? Yeah. World leaders blame Donald Trump for failure to reach climate agreement. Uh, everywhere on the news, man, here's one. G7 leaders blame U.S. for failure to reach climate change agreement. It's junk science. It's deceptive science. It's not science at all, right? It's, it's, de it's deception, yeah. Angela Merkel says Germany can no longer rely on America under Donald Trump. <laughs> this is all good news. Yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, article after article. Uh, G7 leaders blame Trump. Uh, all over the web. Washington Examiner. Failure to reaffirm Paris climate, climate deal. <laughs> you know, I read a, a scripture here just before I went live. <clears throat> it says John 15, 19 in the Bible. The best book on the planet. You can't believe fake CNN, ABC, MSNBC, CNN, BBC, even Foxy News, uh, and most of them, mainstream media, I call it Vatican media, uh, globalist media, New World Order media. Uh, I can trust this, though. John chapter 15, verse 19. The world, the New World Order, would love you as long as you are one of its own. <laughs> the world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it. So rejoice. Be happy that they don't like Donald Trump. Because he's not part of the New World Order. Uh, I think it was Newt Gingrich uh, said this several months ago. He said, Trump's not part of the secret societies. He's not. He hasn't joined their secret groups, initiations. 70-year-old <laughs> businessman from New York billionaire hasn't joined the new world order what i mean that's good news most of the billionaires and multi-millionaires on the earth are part of the new world order the world would love you angela merkel <laughs> the g7 would love you as one of its own if you belong to it but you are no longer part of the new world order I, Jesus said, I chose you to come out of the new world order. So it hates you. Oh, love it. That's what it, that's what it said. John 15, 19. John, 1 John 3, 13. Another book that was written by the Holy Spirit through the Apostle John. Later on, closer to the book of Revelation, 1 John chapter 3, verse 13. So don't be surprised, he said. If the world hates you. Oh, it's a good sign that Pope Francis fat shames you. Remember that? I did a video on May 25th, three days ago. Pope Francis fat shames President Trump at the Vatican. Did you see that? Go to my website, DarylLawsonLive.com, DarylLawson.com, same thing. Go to my video entitled Pope Francis fat shames President Trump. What? Yeah, 17 minutes long, almost 18 minutes there. It's good news. It's good news. Here's another one I did uh, on May 26. Obama, president in exile, waiting for Trump's demise. It's good when Pope Francis don't like you. Remember Pope Francis called uh, uh, Trump uh, a non-Christian? Even referred to him as Hitler. Yeah, look it up. It's a good sign that Pope Francis doesn't like Trump. It's a good sign that Obama don't like Trump. By the way, Pope Francis is the false prophet prophesied in the Bible. End time prophecies, yeah. And Obama is the Antichrist, all right? <laughs> I'm serious. Watch my videos on it. My YouTube channel. I have 1,535 videos that I've done on my YouTube channel and 300 plus videos that I've done on Facebook Live, which I do every day, Monday through Friday. 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., Monday through Friday, California time, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Every day, and even Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. That's California time, DarylLawson.com, yeah. Wow. And then I tell people, I also did a video called Trump's Name in the Bible. Ooh, 
almost 500,000 people have watched that video alone that I've done. Yeah. Anyways, have fun on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook pages. I have Facebook pages, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, YouTube channel. Yeah. So when I see articles like this, Trump blame, Trump blame, leaders blame, GC7 leaders blame. GC leaders don't mince words, words don't mince words, blame Trump for, cl uh, for climate change agreement not going through. <laughs> world leaders, world leaders. Well, don't forget, uh, I mentioned this in the other uh, two videos I did today. Uh, don't forget, this is the, the G7 is not the world. All right? They're missing the BRIC nations. They're missing other nations. Most of the nations aren't involved in the G7. You got uh, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, the BRIC nations, the BRIC plus nations. Those are huge economies. They're not included in this. Leaders from some of the most powerful world, see, mo some, some, right? Now in the U.S. Uh, is pulling out of it, and I hope, hope, hope Trump fully pulls out of it because he doesn't really like it. Uh, that's a big swath of the earth. Leaders from some of the world's most powerful countries issued a joint statement over the weekend blaming Trump. It's a good sign, my friend. They're all part of the New World Order. Trump and the U.S. for the group's failure to reach an agreement on climate change, which is total... Bull crap! Can I just say that the Paris Accord on climate change is a tentacle of the New World Order of the globalists? They want to they want to impose more more restrictions on the G7 countries and others, so they can bring down the G7 countries to a third world status. Yeah, they want to put so many so much restrictions so many restrictions on business that it's uh, that's going to hamper. I mean, it sounds like Obamacare. I mean, think think about it. Obamacare was heralded. Oh, it's going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Uh, we're going to let you keep your own doctor, bring premiums down. You can have all the health care you want. Oh, everybody. Ooh. Obamacare is the worst thing that ever happened to health care. Yeah, not only here, but around the world. Obamacare was, yeah, I've done videos on this as well. Obamacare wasn't just for the U.S. Obamacare is a framework. It's a skeleton for the whole, the whole world. By the way, uh, in Obamacare is the procedures for the mark of the beast. <laughs> I've watched my videos on that. Declaration released by the G7 countries um, on the weekend following their yearly summit they just had. Trump's back in the US, right, USA right now. The leaders of, of six other nations involved in the discussion highlighted Trump's refusal to join them in the fight against climate change. This is just rules and regulations by the globalists to stunt, push back, hurt business, not only in the U.S., but around the world. So they have some kind of paragraph here that they all got together. Wow, you sure worked a lot all week, and you came up with one paragraph. Good for you. <laughs> the United States of America, they said, is reviewing the, pro the policies of climate change. Understanding this process, the heads of state of the government of Canada... France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK. The UK is pulling out of Brexit, but... And the presidents of the European Council, blah, 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 on the European Commission. Who are they? Reaffirm their strong commitment to swiftly implement the Paris Agreement. Well, if you want it, it's probably bad. And really, it's the Vatican that wants it. Trump, who was the lone holdout on adopting guidelines implemented by the 2015 Paris Agreement, took to Twitter to reaffirm the group's claim he had not yet decided on a policy. You know, I think it was brilliant. Let them wait forever, right? Because if you say no, they're going to blast you. Why not put them on hold for a long time? <laughs> uh, hello? Uh, I'm going to put you on hold, yeah. Do you mind if I put you on hold? Yes, eh, hold. Trump said, I'll make my final decision on the Paris Accord next week. It was brilliant because he doesn't have to be around those twits to get their backlash when he was there. He took enough backlash from the Pope and other people during this trip. It was a successful trip for the U.S. and for, and for Trump. Uh, but it was definitely uh, under heavy, heavy spiritual warfare. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, the good thing is that Trump is a businessman and he knows what's good for business and what's bad for business. And this accord is bad for business. Hopefully, he listens to the Holy Spirit and uh, finishes, finishes this uh, uh, reply by saying, no, Paris Agreement sucks. Yeah. Like I said earlier, people need to focus. This is a bunch of baloney rules and regulations 
that never need to be considered. Priority should be stopping the Fukushima radiation from Japan, from spreading in the oceans and around the world. That's, that's number one priority. Uh, another priority, get rid of the chemtrails in the sky. That's poisoning the planet. Get rid of GMO foods. I mean, how many issues can we do before that? Before this Paris Accord, which is just more nonsense. Yeah, get rid of the GMO foods. Get rid of the tainted vaccinations. Just to name several, right? Uh, and uh, stop uh, letting money go to the... Uh, listen, income tax from the U.S., federal income tax goes to the Vatican. Yeah, just look it up. Whistleblower, World Bank whistleblower says uh, federal income tax, U.S. income tax, you know, goes to the Vatican. I think 10% is siphoned off to the Bank of England by the Rothschild wicked family dynasty. <laughs> Trump was the lone holdout, the lone ranger. <laughs> and it's good. It's good. I'm telling you, this is good. Yeah. Uh, it's popular with the people, but not with the government. Who cares what the government's? The government really is the people. Are the people? Yeah. <laughs> Proper English. The government and the people. I, I said the government is the people, man. Yeah, the people are the government. It's not these little twits sitting up there with their terms never ending in the Senate and around the planet and these globalists and these kings and queens and pulpies. They're not the real government. Listen, the Bible says that God gave humans authority and dominion on the planet. All right? Not the Pope. Not these demon-possessed politicians and religious leaders. No! Born-again, spirit-filled people on the earth have the authority on the planet. That's why they're having a hard time. The New World Order is having a hard time implementing the New World Order for 6,000 years. It's not really. It's an old world order, really. Since the snake slithered in the garden and attacked Adam and Eve. Same thing happened today. 6,000 years and they still don't have a world government. Yeah. With the headquarters in Jerusalem. To, yeah, causing everybody to take the mark of the beast. They don't, they don't have it. And they won't have it until the next rapture happens. Then they'll put a, they'll go in high gear trying to, you know, screw the earth during the great tribulation period. But Jesus promises to return to stop their diabolical plan. Yeah. Love it. So it's a great time to be alive. The Vatican has lost control of the U.S. presidency. It's losing control of the U.K. Oh, love it, which is the, you know, the Bank of England. There's three city-states that run the world, primarily. You have the Vatican, Washington, D.C., and uh, the city of London. Some, some say it's the uh, Vatican is the uh, religious city-state. You have... London, which is the financial city-state, and you have Washington, D.C., which is the military city-state. But they're losing control. The Vatican's losing control of Washington because Trump's president. Uh-oh! And they're losing control of the U.K. because people are, have been file, filing against uh, the, the EU for the Brexit move. So it's a bad day for the New World Order. And now you look at Trump. He's also uh, resisting the climate. Paris Accord, which is a bunch of bull, baloney... Uh, Restrictions to hurt business and industry in these countries. So, no, uh, they're not going to get their way. Not on our watch. Not on my watch, Bob. And, uh, you know, Russia and China, the BRIC nations are going, we're not going to do what you say. They, the Vatican is behind this Paris climate accord. Yeah, because the, the New World Order looks for agreements and accords, and, and anything that can hinder the progress, uh, the blessings of the nations. They don't like when countries are free. They don't like when countries are rich and have work and have guns and are not bowing to their agenda. They don't like that. No, no, no. They've got to stop that. Hence, therefore, thus, heretofore, they like wars and rumors of wars. And famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Oh, that kind of sounds like a scripture. Yeah, because that's how they control the planet. Because when you're healthy and wealthy and wise, you don't want to join the New World Order. No way. You understand what they're trying to do. They want the Hunger Games. They want to be the globalists sitting and eating cake while you play with sticks in the mud with no food. John 15, 19, the world would love you. The New World Order would love you. 
as one of its own if you belong to it. But you, know, but you are no longer part of the world, New World Order system. I chose you to come out of it. I'm telling you, as I tell people all the time, get out of the world religions. Get out of them. Get out of the of the of the Mormonism, Catholicism, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, fascism, communism, Mormonism, Jehovah Witness, and get out of the religions and get in Jesus. That's it. Get out of, don't put your faith in the Republican Democratic Party or any governmental party on the planet. I've called you to come out of them and don't trust them. I chose you to come out of this new world order system. So it hates you. <laughs> a lot of lazy, ignorant, backslidden Christians. Uh, they, they don't want to be hated by anybody. Backslidden preachers, false Christian preachers on the earth. They just want, hey, they just want to be loved by, I just want to be on Oprah, they think. I just want a big book deal. Stop it. They just want big congregations and big offerings and tithes and offerings coming to them. So they water down the message in order not to be hated by the world. Well, You are no longer part of the new world order. I chose you to come out of the world. So if you're not hated by the new world order, something's wrong with your Christianity. Something's wrong with your religion. Run! All you need is Jesus, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, my friend. His word, his spirit, his blood, his name. And to obey his words, being a hearer and a doer of his word. That's all that matters in these end times. All these little... Funky little skull and bones groups, these secret societies, the new world, the globalists, their little groups. No, no. And I love the, they don't matter. They don't have the power. They're trying to steal the power from the planet. But you and I are here on the earth to expose them, to hinder them, to pray against them, to obey the Lord. <laughs> and they will hate you. <laughs> Gotta ask yourself, if you're not being hated, why? That means you aren't fulfilling what Jesus wants you to do on the earth. <laughs> you don't have to look around and have signs, please hate me. If you do what the Holy Spirit, what the Spirit of Jesus, His Word wants you to do, they'll hate you. <laughs> so you got to ask yourself, if you're not being hated, <laughs> you're not doing something right. Yeah. World leaders blame Donald Trump. I say, good, good, good job, Donald. Keep it up. And keep praying for him, too, because he needs all the help and the prayer. He's a new Christian, new born-again, spirit-filled Christian. I think his wife is, too. And they have to grow in wisdom. They have to grow in knowledge, discernment, understanding. Their armor has to grow. Yeah. So they're not Jesus. They're not perfect. We have to pray for them every day. All right, Daryl Lawson Live signing off. I want to do a quick video here. This is my third video today. This is Memorial Weekend. This is the time to remember. And we are in a spiritual warfare, speaking about Memorial Weekend, every day. And we need not to be lazy Christians. We need to continue to pray, fast, tithe, forgive, love, uh, read the scriptures, witness for Jesus in these last days, and all the rest of the Bible. Yeah, people, and people get caught up in the Old Testament. You don't have to sacrifice lambs anymore, all right? Jesus is the Lamb of God. Read the Old Testament in the light and the fine print of the New Testament, all right? <laughs> Keep doing the Word, though. Hear, hearing and doing the Word, because the people that just hear the Word and don't do it are deceived, deceiving themselves, and they won't make the next rapture, and they won't go to heaven. Oh, Daryl Lawson Live is standing off. Go to my website, DarylLawson.com. Uh, Check out all my videos, 1,535 videos on YouTube, several hundred videos now I have on uh, Facebook as well, different videos, and I'll see you on my live show. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. every day, California time. And Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. You can see all that and more at DarylLawson.com. All right, love you guys. See you later. Uh, see you online. And bye for now.